Hi, Sarah here with a layout process video for you today. This one is for UK scrap addicts. So if you're viewing this on my personal channel, please go and check out the rest of the UK scrap addicts team over on that YouTube channel so you can see lots more inspiration. And if you're watching it on UK scrap addicts and you like my layout, then please uh, subscribe to my channel, which will be linked below over there too. So for this month we're doing multiple photographs so we're using more than three or more photos on our layouts and I decided to use four small photos in a grid. As you can see I've laid down some texture paste and now that I know whereabouts I want my photos I'm now just adding a little more here and there around the edge to make sure that it's peeking out from behind the main bit of my layout so that the whole lot doesn't get covered up. Um, next up I'm just adding some um, white ink spray with a paintbrush and I'm adding that all the way around the edge just to give an extra extra bit of messiness all around the edge and then I'm moving that to one side to dry and while that does dry I'm going to work on my paper layers behind each of my photos. I want to create like mini layout sort of photo clusters for each of these ones so each one has its own uh, papers behind it and I'm also going to add some of this ribbon here for a bit of extra texture and then I'm just varying where I put the ribbon on some I put it onto the first paper layer and on others I put it directly under the first photograph and again with the papers um, for a bit of variety I'm going to be doing some that are a little more solid with the pattern and others that have that are a little bit more um, of a rainbow going on with the pattern and just varying that through the layers working my way back through down to the bottom layer of paper. Now I wanted to add a little bit of a dark layer just to help the papers pop so I go for a patterned one on two of them and then just black and white on the others which is the opposite to what I had last time which was on the rainbow and finally because I'd gone for a dark one I want an extra layer on the bottom so I've gone for a patterned on two of them and then a um, aqua uh, pattern but mostly one colour on the others. So there's a nice variety but there's still consistency within each little layer and now that I'm happy with those layers I'm going to um, measure which is something I never really do except because I am creating a grid layout I want them to be fairly even so I'm measuring whereabouts the center is and now I'm going to go through each one of these little photo clusters and um, add some foam ruffle up the edges of my paper with my scissors you could use a distress tool to do this if uh, you don't want to be using the blade of a scissors and um, just layering things up, adding in more foam. I think I add foam on the bottom, then on the under the third uh, paper layer, and then I'm adding in my ribbon as well, which I do secure down with some of this 3D gloss gel, which just helps it stick a lot better. And then adding my photo on top. And so I've shown you the first one that I did. I We'll skip the rest and just show you the end of the final one once they're all done because I work the same process through all of them. And I'm using the I Love Crafting collection today by Echo Park. I got mine from Lottie Loves Paper, so I will link that shop below. That's a UK scrapbook um, shop as well as a kit club. So if you want to go and check that out, there will be a link below for that. And um, I think I'm pretty much done now with my paper layers and then I'll be able to move on to embellishing. I have the sticker sheets and the ephemera and tags I think from this um, collection so I do use all just the things from the collection today and I use foam just to add um, on the back of my title which is going in the centre there just boost to boost it up but I do end up taking one layer of the foam off and just having two layers because I want it to be flush to the photos rather than um, slightly higher I didn't like it being higher than the photo so I just uh, peeled one layer off there as you saw and now I've just stuck the stickers to my hand and I'm just 
uh, deciding where I want them to go I basically want one for each photo um, but not all in the same place I do end up taking out the paint because I just think it's too bulky and I switch that in for some ribbon instead a little ribbon sticker and I find that that looks a little neater it's not sticking out as much anymore and then I do go through all the stickers I've got two of the sticker sheets so I got every single button that I could find and just added them instead of adding say enamel dots or sequins which I would probably usually do I do end up taking out that one yellow one though because I only had one yellow and it ended up sort of showing up a little bit too much but I do end up using this yellowy gold ink by Lindy's Stamp Gang as a final touch just to bring out because the yellow isn't in the is in all the papers and things but it's kind of a minor colour I suppose so I wanted to just bring that out a little more just to add a little bit more colour to my background and that is my layout done so thanks for joining me today do make sure you go and check out what everyone else has created for this month's um, theme and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>